Here is Danny and today. Ray Tracing is now available for all PC players who have a supported Nvidia graphics card, which according to the official spec sheet means a 1060 or newer, including of course the terribly named 1660 Ti, which recently came out. So you can shoot out all the rays that you want in a cinematic 24 FPS. Just be sure to update your Windows and graphics card drivers or else it won't work. Nvidia's personal testing showed that with medium RTX settings, but with everything else on Ultra, that every card should at least reach the 35 FPS. Of course this is paired with a super powerful CPU to show how the cards are bottlenecking. Actual performance may differ a little bit based on your own setup. But of course, if you want more frames than that, you can still tweak the settings down a little bit in order to make it actually playable while having all them rays traced. Since I only have one card, I can't really test anything out myself. So for a deep dive into the settings and performance, check out Digital Foundry's hopefully upcoming video comparing all the GTX cards. But that is all I got for now, shout out to my Patreons on screen. This was Danny and I see you on Ray Traced Battlefield.